The day after Bernie's arrest, I noticed that none of the employees from the 17th floor showed up to work that morning, and some never came back again. Since some of the people didn't show up and others weren't cooperating, I began to draw floor plans for the investigators to show where everyone sat and what they did. It turns out, Bernie had the entire place designed from scratch to his exact specifications. On the 18th and 19th floors, he had a legit trading firm that covered up the illegal advisory business on the 17th floor. The 17th floor was, you know, where money went to disappear. And it was completely, it was run completely differently on the 17th floor. People dressed differently. They weren't as educated. Whereas up in the 18th and 19th floors, Madoff's sons, Andrew and Mark, both had MBAs. A lot of the traders had come from very well-known Wall Street firms. The 17th floor was off limits to almost everyone. You couldn't get in without card key access, and most people knew that. And I know I had access because I would deliver things for Bernie. This is where it all happened. This was the floor that all of the fake statements were produced on and uh, sent out every month. And uh, this is where everybody's life pretty much got ruined, right in this, in this little room here.